Hey guys, today I have this uh, exhaust fan stop working in my place. When I am turn on the switch, it's not moving at all, it's dead. So I'm gonna repair this fan, I'm gonna check uh, what are the possibilities that causing this fan to stop working. And I'm gonna share with you how to fix it. And yeah, let's get started. So for the learning purpose, I have these two fans. One of these is dead and the other is new. This is a working fan. So both are the same. This is a 6 inches uh, fan that spinning counterclockwise. So I'm gonna check both uh, the motor, the working one and the broken one. And I'm gonna test with my multimeter and I'm gonna show you the difference. Okay, after we pull out the fan from the, the wall, you can see this is the main parts of the fan. This is the cover. This is the backside cover. And this is the motor. We have some screw. I already opened it. And when you close the outside cover, it will press the switch. When you, when you close the cover like this, it will push the button here, the switch button. If you can see, uh, this is the button. So when the button push, the fan will stop working. So it is safe for you if you are uh, forget to turn off your fan when you're leaving. You can just simply close the outside cover and it will be off automatically okay most of the case the stop working fan is causing by this switch this switch uh, usually connect the electricity and we have a copper plate inside the plate after some time maybe got corrosion or rust so we need to clean it with the uh, sandpaper or a uh, WD-40 like this lubricant Okay, now I'm gonna check the motor. You can open like this, and this is the switch. This is the switch. You can pull out like this, and usually you can open this and check the copper plate. Maybe it's got corrosion and rust going on there, so you need to clean it. So I'm gonna open this. Okay, I already opened the switch. This is for the cover switch. When the, when the cover close, it will push the button like this. So, there is no connection for the plate. So, the electricity will turn off automatically. Most of the case, this boat plate are covered with rust or corrosion. So, you need to clean it. And I already cleaned it before and still the fan is not working. So I'm gonna test the motor. This is a 15 watt AC motor that spin counterclockwise. Okay, every motor has a wire winding inside. So we have this brown and blue color cables and I'm gonna check the connection for the winding I'm gonna use this uh, my multimeter we set to the uh, we set to the ohm meter this is the ohm this is the symbol omega so I'm gonna test so this has a blue and brown brown going to here this plate and the blue going there to the cables okay oh, we have no connection ol it's mean open lines there's no connection okay i'm gonna switch to the diode and continuity test this sign it's supposed to be beeping when it has connection and yes we have no connection 
both uh, resistant tests and continuity tests. Okay, now let's uh, test the new fan. It's a working fan. This is uh, same blue and brown cables. But uh, yeah, I need to open the switch. Okay, I already opened the switch. The brown going to here and blue going to this cable. Same test with the resistant meter, Omega. This one. Yeah, we have reading 669 ohm resistance. So the motor is still good. We have a winding connection. And when you test with the diode and continuity test in this symbol, it should be also a value. And we have 0 0.849 from the diode test. Before it was OL, open lines, no connection. This one, the winding wire inside is uh, short. This one, we have no connection from the winding cable inside here. Maybe because the heat process, it will be burned or uh, separate wire inside. Or another possibility is uh, every motor has a protection uh, fuse inside. Maybe the fuse also blown. In this case, the conclusion for the, this motor is broken. We have no connection from the wiring cable inside here. So that's it guys. That's how you test the motor from the exhaust fan. How to check which one is good, which one is uh, bad. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share my video if you like it. And feel free to comment below. See you in my next video. Terima kasih. Thank you. Bye-bye.